Right, I'm just tweaking my game sound and music. Um, and then I will get going. Right, so, last time we left off, we were looking for tin veins and a leather in um, Westfall. Well, we came here mainly to look for tin veins. We didn't really find any. Um, I mean, yeah, I guess five tin. We got bits and pieces. Um, we handed in the quest. We did some questing in Lokmadan as well, but uh, for the time being, I don't think I can do either of these because, well, that one's in wetlands and I don't want to. I don't really want to quest in wetlands. Um, this guy is in here somewhere. Okay, he's there. Okay, why have I got a quest leading me to that guy? I don't, I don't really know. Okay, so the Lokmodan quests, one is basically taking to wetlands and one is the elite inside the cave. I am not even going to bother with that one. Um, we've got a stockade, stockade riots, kill uh, Basil Thread. We will abandon that for now. Um, I, don't, I just don't want it to be in my way. Um, and then we got the, the quest in Lokmodan to go to the beginning of wetlands and kill those guys there. Again, I don't want to kind of head towards there. Wetland is not it's not one of my it's not my favourite zone to quest in. Um, what we'll do is we already got our level 20 skills. But we will very briefly go to Stormwind. We need to put stuff in the bank and sell some stuff. And the stuff we gathered yesterday. Um, and then we'll go start Redwich. We haven't actually touched Red Ridge at all. We could have done, um, but some of the quests are a little bit low level for us. But that's perfect because we want to step into Red Ridge with some of the quests being a bit low. It will hopefully give us the rest of the bar of level 21. And there is quite a lot of tin veins everywhere, as you can see, all over the map. So that'll be good for our mining. And then there is also quests that are our level and maybe a little bit higher as well. Which reminds me, I do want to grab the items for the Dry Times quest, which is, I believe, there is the the, the case of alcohol that I got from uh, Westfall in the bank. There is one you can buy from Stormwind. Um, and there is one you can get from Darkshire. Um, there's a fourth one as well, but I do not remember where that is from. Oh, and we were mining to try and make, I actually forgot completely, the trinket that we got the recipe from in... We got the recipe for this in... Um, in Ironforge at the engineering trainer. Sometimes they do spawn uh, a rare recipe, I guess. Well, I wouldn't call this recipe rare by any means, but you know, like the odd recipe that's limited in number, let's say. Well and I did not mean to do that. I meant to do that. Sell all the junk. We will sell this shield because it's not as good as the shield we're currently using. Don't need ochre anymore. Don't need linen anymore. Don't need this for anything. We also do not need hops. We already have a stack of the potion, so we'll sell that spare one. Just to save us the space. All these are kind of good materials, I guess, for what we need. Um, 
We're gonna we're gonna basically go craft the trinket really quickly. Uh, mortal stream. Ooh, is he in the guild? Oh, okay. Well, he's got the name of the guild in his name, so it's a little bit weird. So we need you. We need the bars. I think we need the hammer, and we need the malachite. That's everything. We've got enough to make two more bars. Then we can craft the trigger. We need the arc that spanner. Okay. I actually put these bombs in here. I can't. I don't remember. I actually did that. Okay. Um. So for the time being, we're gonna go engineering. Right. Everything's showing up on the map. All the quests on the map currently. I'm not going to be doing any of them. Because that's for stockades, we're too low level. The term of valor, we kind of went and did dead, dead mines at level 19. But we can't do that anymore. I'm um, not even going to bother. Pick it up. Um, those are both a dead mines quest as well, which I can't solo. Technically, they can be done. Even though I've been to dead mines, because they are outside of dead mines in the cave. It doesn't technically mean I'm going to the actual dungeon itself, it's outside the dungeon. But again, I can't solo those, um, so I'm not going to attempt that. And that is the quest that leads you to know Morgan. Again, we're too low level for that, so... So yeah, we'll craft the trinket and head to put the stuff in the, our stuff in the bank and then head to Redbridge. And then we can be in quest in there. I do need to pop by the the alcohol store inside the game, or whatever it's called. The uh, I believe it's here somewhere or here. I don't hundred percent remember, but it's to do the dry times quest. Need to get the keg out of the bank as well. We'll do it on the way back. But for now, we need to smelt some bronze. So we'll do some smelting. Um, Barbarian. Nice name. Level 30 warrior. But I believe it's like a nice two hander on his back. That's yeah, an axe. Okay, so. Oh, there is a both in front of us. Level 35 paladin with a minor beast slayer enchant, I believe. His axe as well. Looks quite nice. Um, okay, so we're just going to wait for... We don't really need to smelt the rest of the copper, but I'm going to do it anyways. Just so it can sort of stay in one stack. Um, and then smelt the bronze afterwards. So... That's what we're doing for now. Smelt the bronze. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> right, so we can make our first trinket. Not sure how useful it's going to be because we're not going to run into too many mechanicals anytime soon, as far as I know. Um, I believe it only controls mechanicals. Controls of a mechanical target for a short time. Um, it may not. No. It may not always work. Yeah, it may not always work on root the machine or make it very, very angry. So I'm guessing it'll give it a buff of some sort. If it fails, maybe cause it to enrage. Um, but the root sounds good. Um, it looks like the nifty stopwatch icon. Um, I guess it's uh, a free trinket, so I'm not really like that disappointed or any by any means. Um, 
We're gonna hit hit up the enchanting, not enchanting, engineering supplier here, in case he has a recipe for us as well. Would you like to purchase something? Sometimes they have like a rare recipe or so. It's got bronze, bronze framework, buff powder, coarse powder. Actually, can I craft any bombs? We've got the bombs that we've got now. Maybe we can make more. So, what's powder? You can sell us four. And it's four to make one of these. We have six. So, if we buy two of them, we should be able to make. Actually, I know. Completely wrong. I don't have any. Completely wrong. I don't have any wool cloth or silver contact on me. I forgot completely. Um, Maybe we can make. No, we can't make the heavy dynamite. These ones, no silver contact again. Okay, never mind. Can this guy teach us anything still? Yeah, a few things. Big bronze bomb. I feel like that's gonna be one of the best bits we're gonna get in terms of bombs, but I'm not sure. It's big and it's bronze. Green tinted goggles. They are, uh, Pretty much just about a double in actual stats. Um, so let's see, coarse blasting powder cannot give us any levels. So I'm not sure if there's any point of crafting it. Now, I don't think there is much we can get here in terms of crafting anything. We don't need rough stone anymore. That's for sure. We no longer want the flask of oil. We made our trinket. Um, could have, we could break this down into that and stack it, um, just to sort of organize bank space a little bit better. We are gonna keep the bombs on us. I can't. I don't entirely really remember why I put them in the bank. Okay, so that's all good. Um, so yeah, all this can go back and back. We're going to put the moss a gate in the bank as well. We got lucky inside a chest, so we got one of those. I believe it might be used for the upgrade of the goggles later. Could be wrong. Could be something else. But I might need two of them, not one. So. And then we'll uh, head to the alcohol shop over there. We also need to go to Goldshire and Darkshire for the other two, com two um, alcoholic beverages for the Dry Times quest. So what we could do potentially is walk to Goldshire and from there maybe just go south and head into Darkshire and we can also grab the flight path and then from there just fly to Red Ridge and start questing although we could do some of the quests in Red Ridge as well but I feel like I don't want to step into Red Ridge anytime soon let's go to oh let's go to the mailbox just out of habit I go to the mailbox instead of going to the bank. So I'm so used to um, going to the mailbox and never going to the bank mm. on my uh, actual raiding character, which I am no longer using or raiding currently. So it's kind of just sitting there. Uh, we will take you because we need you. Um, we have okay, yeah, we have what we need. All right before we head off. Go to Yeah, so before we head off, go to the shop here, I believe. Oh no, I think I'm going to the... I don't actually remember actually, is it on this side or that? I think that's the flower shop. That you need the uh, seasoning. 
from uh, for one of the quests. Actually, that might be a Darkshire quest. You need uh, Stormwind seasoning and to make the food for Jitters or something, or for a person in Darkshire. Is the I believe it's the cask of Merlot, or is it the other ones? It's not that one. It's not that one. Not that one. I don't think it's that one. It's either this one, or this one. I'm gonna say it's the. What is a quest? Oh, it tells you it's a quest item. Okay, that's actually handy. That it tells you it's a quest item. We have a fully stacked keg of Thunderbrew, which we got from handing in the hops at the guy in Westfall when you're killing the last set of mobs for the um, Defias enemies. Right, I'm going slightly the wrong way. We could go this way and walk out and go towards uh, Goldshire. All these people ready for raiding. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a little bit of auto walking while we head towards our destination. I'm guessing there's gonna be a head drop or something. Considering the amount of people hanging around the two guys, maybe they're just waiting for the respawn. Well, we're not allowed to technically have the world buff. Well, we are allowed to have it, but I'm not going to wait around intentionally just to grab the world buff. Because I kind of feel like that would be not correct in the sort of hardcore meta I guess I mean if you're if you're looking for or if you're just camping and waiting for world buffs instead of just letting them happen without you really preparing for it it's kind of like cheating slightly even though the rules are you can have them there's nothing wrong with it I guess um, it's just I feel like if I wait for it, it kind of makes it a little bit weird for me um, I can't remember if you're supposed to skin these guys when you kill them. They drop you a wall, I guess, yeah, okay. Right. Let the gold try. I believe it is this guy, the bartender, sells you. And I, I hopefully it says the quest. It's a quest item. Um, I actually don't remember the name fully. I want to say it's skin of dwarven stout. Um, oh, maybe it's that. Okay. I guess mousing over everything and looking for the actual item helps in this case. Um,
Oh, sorry, I was just uh, fixing something. Okay. So. We're gonna have. Whoa, what is. Okay. I guess that's a raid group getting their world buffs and moving all together. Um, ooh, it looks like someone died in the guild as well, sadly. Um, 27 Paladin in Wetlands to a Molotted Razor Moor. I'm not sure what that is. That might be a boar, maybe? I don't know. Um, kind of just trying to get through the um, Dark Moon Fair here. Alright, let me just give the guy an F in the chat. Hello, um, if there's an, if you're watching, uh, feel free to say hi, ask me questions. Uh, or if you're wondering about hardcore or anything, or if you're, if you're uh, doing your own journey in hardcore, how's it going? I'm just gonna hit up the copper vein. I don't think I actually need any more copper to be fair, but I mean I'm never never gonna say never, but I have a feeling that the uh the day has claimed a fair few number of people. Um in the death count today, even though I haven't been playing myself for very long today. Um, it started 23 minutes ago, so. I mean, level 27 dying, I guess that's kind of annoying. It's kind of a midpoint between being kind of low still and not being too irritated by the death because you can start again and get there quickly and being on the opposite end of being really high level and being close to the goal and then just becoming completely demoralized by the death. But um yeah twenty seven is a bit of a, a bit of an odd one. But I guess uh, death can come to you whenever. And that is kind of part of the challenge, so I mean I died at level fourteen on my first attempt on a shaman. And as annoying as it was, I wasn't really like too bothered because I was a little bit uncomfortable playing on the horde side, so I don't play horde much, so Right, so our objective now is to head into Duskwood and grab both the flight path and the alcoholic beverage required for the Dry Times quest in Redridge. I kind of find it funny because if you go to Redridge and go to the quest itself, it, it starts at level 12 and requires level 15 to do, so it would be yellow at 13. Um, and you're supposed to walk through, even at 15 or 16, you're supposed to walk through parts of Darkshire to get to um, the flight path area. Um, and the inn where you get the actual uh, alcoholic beverage from there. And I wouldn't feel very safe going in at level 14, 15, 16. Maybe 17, just about, but... Obviously we are, we're level 20 and the quest is luckily still green for us, so... It isn't too bad. We're still gonna get a little bit of XP from it. And all we're doing really is just grabbing bits and pieces from vendors. And I'm literally running around in here as if like I'm higher level than I am right now, actually. So, I need to be a little bit more careful. I usually don't really enter Darkshire until 
these wolves are actually green to me, so... Yeah, well, we'll uh, stick to the road here and make our way. It shouldn't be too bad. Um, I feel like I might have missed the vendor. Is he over there? Or is he further up ahead? I can't remember. I know there's a vendor that stands around here somewhere and has some possibly potions and maybe recipes or item green items. I can't remember. Uh, is he up ahead? No, we might have missed him. Um, that's the Starvin area, which is at least a level 30 quest. Right, someone in the guild said there is a AQ40 event in Lokomatan. <laughs> it's quite funny. Um, And uh, another guy in the guild, um, who I think had a level 39 priest, he was in Tenaris, um, just in the Albera, Gajazan, and he got mind controlled from like an unbelievably, unbelievably long range. And because he got mind controlled, he attacked the guards. And died. Like literally, like what? Do you, what can you do? And he was nowhere near the uh, enemies. So um, this is actually kind of adding to the fun, in a sense, of hardcore. Um, I believe there might be a roaming vendor. I don't know. Yeah. So he died, and well, good on good on him that he took it on the chin. So. He didn't, didn't even flinch. I mean, he was like, yeah, so it just happened. Uh, time to start a new character and move on. Instantly. And it's just like... If I was level 39, I mean, I think the guy has already got a level 60, so... On the hardcore challenge, that's not too bad. But if that was me, I'd, I wouldn't know what to do. I think I'd just... Uh, I'd be so annoyed. Right, so you don't have any rare... items here. Okay. Why don't you have any rare items? Right, uh, there is... Isn't there another vendor or person? No, oh, this guy. No, that doesn't... I mean, he's got the mining skills, I guess. Iron is at 125. What is our mining? Uh, 106. Okay. So then in that case, at 125, we should be able to... Yeah, no, Wes, um, well, I'm going to check now if you want, um, wait, I got an email, okay, that doesn't, that's nothing to do with it, um, let me check now, I'm going to check if it still says the same thing for him, probably does, yep, still 11.34, so yeah, when did you get here? I wasn't really paying attention, I was talking to myself, as usual. <laughs> yeah, I just did. Um, I'm checking it now. Uh, so, can you do the usual, ask me a question, see how long it takes? I did change it today as well, so... Okay. Uh, it's very open. Very, very open. Some might say gaping.
Really? That long? That's... Kinda crazy. No way, I don't, I don't, it's annoying. All I did was tweak the settings slightly, and it's gone back up so much. That's ridiculous. Um, I wonder if I, I'm not actually sure if I can actually do it while I'm actually streaming, like change the setting as settings as I stream. I don't know if it'll crash the whole thing or you have to restart it. Yeah, but you're always going to want to uh, interact with people. I don't know. Oh nice, that's actually better than mine. And it's 9 block, not even 8 block, it's 9 block, okay. It's pretty good. Can't afford it though, but... It is pretty good. Yeah, I suppose, um... I don't know what to say really. It's always going to be a bit of a sacrifice between the quality and the delay, so... Wait, are you watching on the laptop or the phone? Because obviously you remember that makes a lot of difference, so... Barker's launch. Oh, this guy wants me to bring all the stuff to him. Oh my god, it's going to take forever. i got to go to every little bit and place across. That took me so long. Yeah, you're right, probably. Probably get a better graphics card. Um. I don't actually remember if there's any quests up here. Okay, so it's tailoring supplies. And he actually has gear, okay. Five intellect, I already have that. Not that we're going to be wearing much of that stuff, but... But like, I tweaked the settings ever so slightly, like it's not even that much, and I thought it would maybe add like a second, a couple of seconds, but if it's gone back up to six, 16 to 18 seconds, like that's almost as bad as it was originally. Oh yeah, always forget to put my in here. Um, wait, the stream is lagging? Twitch says everything is fine, but um, right, I'm gonna I'm gonna restart it. Um, I'm gonna quit the stream and restart. So give me give me a couple of minutes. <laughs> 